Mike has his own burger shop. Congratulations to my friend. How I know you've been working very hard on this. <laughs> ten Ten Burger has launched in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. It's 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 the first of its kind. It's a test, and, and we are we are excited to welcome Ten Ten Burger to the United States. It's called Ten Ten because Mike has a, the most viewed uh, burger fast casual review show online, and he rates them out of ten. And you know. I, I, I'm just gonna like say what he's saying. He's claiming his burgers a ten, <laughs> and I don't know if it is. But let me tell you something. When it comes to the United States, and I try that burger, my guy, it better be a ten <laughs> out of ten. It better be the best fast casual burger I've ever had in my life. If you're gonna brand everything ten out of ten, dude, I have traveled for the past three years. Many uh, of the reviews, including my good friend Jeff Wittick, and of course you as well, uh, all over the world: Greece, Australia, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Qatar, Miami, everywhere, all over the planet studying, observing, researching, developing, concepting in my brain, what is it about the width of that pickle? What is it about the slice on that onion? What is it about the thickness of that American cheese, that blend of meat, that bun that's being used that creates such a special thing? And I concept and I created in my mind what I think is the ideal smash burger experience. I then found a chef in Los Angeles, by the way, the burger capital of the world right now, who was able to recreate that concept that I had in my mind and 1010 Burger was born. And you know, it's the reason it's in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia is because I needed a partner that would move fast and would get it done. There's a lot of people that like to play the hurry up and wait game in this world, they didn't. And, it's, and we're testing it out out there. So if you're in UAE, you're in Dubai, you're in Doha, whatever, and you wanna take a flip over, it's there till June 7th, uh, Jetta City Walk, and then slowly but surely, I'm going to start to roll those out to the United States and, and UK and Australia and everywhere else. We're going to take over. We're going to take over. Everything else sucks. Fuck Smash Burger. It's like how you talk shit about your competitors. They suck. Wow. I, no, I don't. I don't talk shit. I think it's a it's an and world. You know, all, all comp competitions welcome uh, wherever we go. I'm going to smash them out. They're not even going to fucking exist anymore. It's going to yeah. be or. Okay. Nice. I've been hanging out with Jeff a lot. I'm not going to e lie. Eat ten ten burger. Chase it with some prime. Uh, uh, How do we make that happen, by the way? I want to talk about that. Listen, I'm not interested in your fucking shit. <laughs> nice. Comment below if you think Mike deserves equity and prime. No, no, not that. That's not what I meant. That They don't even have to comment. We are you are you giving out equity in 1010 Burger? Of course. Both of you have equity in 1010 Burger. I, I know it, it doesn't. I How much it. are we talking? I want it. He you, of course he you have mine. I could have his. There you go. Don't ever demean the equity. In I'm going to fucking go gamble that no, shit because downstairs. No, because I know what you're going to do. Because I know what you're going to do. Because I know what you're going to do. Because you do it Prime. Yes, you do. You do it Prime. I'm not asking you to push the beverage. I'm not asking you to promote Prime. You do it yourself, and then you guilt trip me into making you think like you deserve something for me. And that's what you're going to do. When you give me equity in 10 Cent Burger, you go, oh, I give you equity in mine. You don't give me equity in yours. <laughs> you can't do that. That's not what I'm doing. I already know what I have in this shit. Fucking shit. It's great. It's so delicious. But what I'm saying is this. My friends will be included. I want my friends included. Fuck the money part. I want my friends included. I want my friends at the fucking table. I'm in a pot. Lose the I'm onions. In. No onions Whoa, in the whole can't place. Happen. Leave. Go home. Go Whoa. play roulette. Hot take. Hot take. Hot take. Hot take. Of course you love fucking onions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, Jeff's a banish onions kind of guy, dude. Yeah. That, he that, hates onions. You put onions on it, it's a zero. Wow. Is it is it like optional to remove things, Mike, or is it just the mic way? Yeah, no, you can. You can remove it. Bro, things. you can't. You, you would be the guy that's like, nah, my shit's perfect. You got to take it the way I make it. It's funny because that was a conversation. You know that. Yeah, At yeah, one yeah. point, yeah. it was a conversation. But it's, dude, it's an and world. You know, there can be <laughs> there can be multiple type of, type of things at the same time. It's no uh, ketchup allowed, shit like that. So I did. It was a part of the concept at first. You could not make uh, changes to the burger of any kind. We had, we had one. You, <laughs> listen to this. At one point, when you walked into the store, you only could say a number, and that was how many meals you got of a set thing. If you wanted no pickles, take them off outside, and don't fucking tell me about it. I've created the perfect <laughs> burger. Your opinion doesn't fucking matter. Deal with it. But you didn't do that? I didn't do that. Okay. Nah, because people people have thoughts. And yeah, well, customers first. Correct. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta put your customers first. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe, or check out this recommended clip to my right.